video is going to demonstrate the difference between frequency and wavelength. And what we have uh, in front of me here is just an empty metal cup. And this uh, piece of tape here that has these markings on it is just meant to represent uh, markings. They're, they're about an inch apart. These little markings here are about an inch apart. So what I'm going to do is just grab a bunch of pennies here. And I'm just going to start putting them in this cup. Every time you hear a penny plink in the bottom of this cup, that is one cycle from me taking a penny in my hand and putting it in the cup. Think about that as one cycle. Frequency is measured in the number of cycles per second, and the unit that we use to describe it is called the hertz. So if I was going to describe what I'm doing here, I could say that I'm taking a penny at the rate of one hertz and putting it in this cup. About one penny per second, so that's one hertz. That's what frequency is. Wavelength is a measure of distance and not time. So think of the distance from my left hand to this cup as the wavelength. So if I put my hand further away from the cup, my wavelength has gotten longer. So for me to complete a cycle, it's going to take me longer to do it. It's going to take me more time to do it. So as wavelength increases, frequency decreases. It's taking me longer because i got to cover more distance to put this penny in the cup. If I move my hand closer to the cup, wavelength is now shorter, my distance is shorter, which means that now my frequency, or cycles per second, can now go up because my hand is closer to the cup. And that's the difference between frequency and wavelength.